Hello, Officer Tony Woods here. I'd like to invite you to sit back, relax, and watch this fiasco unfold. I've been put in charge of today's production, but Ricky is going to direct the cast. These are the actors I get to deal with? Ah, jeez. Okay, Ricky. You gotta hold them up and make them move while I tell the story. This story is called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah, Rudolph lived on the North Pole and he wanted to be one of Santa's reindeers. He could fly better than any of the other young reindeers, but he got dissed because his nose was red. Reminds me of the drunks we used to call her back in the day. Their noses were red too. They'd be all like, Officer, Merry Christmas. And I'd be like, geez, point your vodka breath in some other direction and get in the cell. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. I don't like getting picked on. I'm out of here. That's supposed to be fine. I thought you'd at least have some string or something. Anyway, then there was this dorky kid named Hermie who wanted to be a dentist instead of build toys. If you ask me, he was the smart one. You know what kind of cash dentists make? My dentist wears a Rolex and drives a Beamer. I want to be a dentist. And wear a Rolex. But Hermie got picked on too, so he split. I am not just a misfit. I really don't give a sh That's enough. So then Hermie and Rudolph meet up and they say, let's get out of this blizzard and go to Florida. But they don't know how to get there, so they just kind of wander around in the snow. Great plan. Yeah, and then they make another friend named Yukon Cornelius. He's trying to find silver and gold in the North Pole with nothing but a pickaxe. These aren't the brightest people, are they? Wait, Cornelius is supposed to have a dog sled. Hey, Izzy, do you want to be in the Christmas play? Apparently not. Gord! Nothing. Tastes like dirt. Hey, he kinda sounds like me. So Yukon joins Rudolph and Army, and they get attacked by the abominable snowman, who they call a bumble, because it's easier to say. And then Yukon shoves the bumble off the keyboard, and they both fall. Roar! That's some sad, sad acting. Come on, tough guy. You want to go? Let's go. So Rudolph and Hermie continue their journey, and they come across the island of misfit toys. You're on the island of misfit toys. Crap that nobody That's enough. Anyway, they found a bunch of toys there. I'm too fragile to play with. Oh, bother. Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here. You're here because Ricky does a passable impression of you. Da. It's -a me, Knockoff Mario. Okay, that one is a misfit, and the king of the island of toys was... Ah, jeez. Hello. Hello, Officer Knucklehead. Da, da, Get him ah. out of here. Hey, everybody. You're not dead. What happened? I landed on the Bumble and Bumble's bounce. Watch. Wait for it. And then Rudolph has an idea. I bet... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I got all day. I bet Santa could take all you toys and find new homes for you. All we have to do is get a message to him. 
I can help. Who are you? I am the ghost of Bach, and I have an iPhone. What? Seriously? Uh, anyway, so the gang got Santa to send them an Uber, which took them to Santa's workshop, which was snowed in for Christmas. Yeah. Ho ho ho. I can't deliver presents because it's snowing too hard for me to navigate. Oh crap. Hey, Santa doesn't say stuff like that. Why don't you use Google Maps? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, I'm too old to use technology. Why don't you go in the front and use it to guide us? Okay. And so Santa was able to deliver all the toys that year. The end. Well, that sucked. I have so many questions. How did the ghost of Bach get an iPhone? How come the Bumble was the same size as the other characters? What the hell was Winnie the Pooh doing in this story? Da oh, jeez. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from BudgetGuitarist.com. Yeah, be safe out there. And we promise we will keep making crappy videos in 2021. Bye.